running his built-in functions to save power users a lot of time. Let's learn about alias. We keep coming back to some contracts all the time. The curve registry, from which we get tripool, from which we get die, USDC, tether. We can always rely on the address provider, which is at this contract address. Now, I can't memorize this. It's great to use it to get the registry, because this will sometimes change when there are changes to Curves protocol. If we'd like to set the alias as address provider, this will persist between sessions. So if we quit out and then fire up a new Brownie console, we'll be able to load the contract. Instead of by passing this horrible hex string, all we need to do is remember whatever moniker we gave it. So now we always have access to get the registry. In fact, if we really want, we can now set the registry. If somehow this ever goes away, it's easy to undo it. So for now, we can get the alias property. It's currently set to registry. If the registry changes, simply set the alias to none. This is also useful if there's a namespace collision. We'll keep it as a registry for now. If you want to do this in one line, take the first pool. We know that's try pool. So let's set the alias as try pool. We don't yet have a contract object for this, but you can get it easy enough. Another good way to get it is just look at this, and this is going to give you the alias followed by the contract. If we'd like to change this from try pool to try, we can override it. You can only take one. And do bear in mind that you can't have collision, of course. So if you try and set, for example, something that is assigned to another contract, you're going to get a value error, as it should be. You can load this not just through contract, but also through our Brownie token tester, which we covered some ways back. The first coin in try pool is die. From Brownie tokens, if we import mintable fork token, when we are creating a mintable fork token, it will take either an address or an alias. So simply passing it die means that we now have the capability of minting as many as we would like. So let's make accounts zero a millionaire. Very handy feature. Highly recommended. We, of course, use a variety of aliases. So if you're having, ever having any issue with aliases from any point going forward in this, give us a shout and we can help you find the right address. Stay safe out there.